Hey, what's going on guys? Today, I'm going to be doing a video about what's in my tackle bag. Some of my favorite lures. I'm going to show you some of my favorite lures. I'm also going to show you some of my favorite poles and reels I like to use. So yeah. First, what I'm going to first start off with, I'm going to show you kind of my heavy duty lures. So like uh, crankbaits, rattle traps, jerk baits, stuff of that sort. For, I'm going to start off with... Um, the jerk baits. Here's probably my favorite jerk bait to use. It's a bluegill color jerk bait. Works really well. I really like to throw this. And probably my second favorite jerk bait I like to use. It's this. Let me see it. See the name of it. It's a Flash Minnow 95. Oh, that's just the name on it. I thought I'd tell you. But it's just really nice. It looks really good throwing going through the water. <clears throat> and for my square, square build crankbaits. I really only like to use crawfish colored ones. They're just my favorite one to use. I find they work better for me than really any other colored square bill crankbait. Here's a couple more that I have right in here. They're kind of hooked together. I'll just hold them up. Crawfish colored. They look real well. <coughs> and here is, I'm just going to show you one of my rattle traps. Here is a really nice crawfish colored rattle trap caught tons of fish on this particular one you can see it's missing some paint from some hits it's a pretty really nice rattle trap <coughs> shoot the thing came off hold on for the next set of lures I'm going to show you are kind of my spinner bait type style baits also a few jigs in here I'd like to show you I'm going to start off with this PB&J color jig. I've caught quite a few fish on these. Actually, this is one handmade, except for really the skirt and the trailer, but everything else handmade by my buddy Grayson Hudson. He's a pretty cool dude. <clears throat> if you look up that name, you can probably find him on YouTube somewhere. Pretty sure he has a YouTube account. Here's a another one right here. And for my chatterbaits, here's probably, I'm just going to show you one of them. But this is absolutely my favorite one. It's a black and blue chatterbait. It's got tons of big fish on here. It has a trailer that kind of imitates either a snake or a lizard. This looks really well going through the water. I'm also just going to show you one of my, let me find it. This is probably my favorite, um, hold on, favorite spinnerbait. It's like an all yellow one. It's really well. I'm pretty sure it's made by Booyah. Really love their baits. All right. That's about it for this tackle box. The next set of lures I guess I'll show you are going to be my favorite top water lures. You know, I'm going to start off with my absolutely fa most favorite frog lure, top water. It's an all black one. Uh, red eyes, red mouth. I got this out of Mystery Tackle Box. It's just a really nice popper. I really like it. Probably my second favorite one is going to be this real lifelike frog right here. Really don't get any better than this. This is just an awesome top water. I also have just a few other frogs. Nothing really out of the ordinary except for those first two. Right. Next, I'm going to show you my, kind of my weights and hooks I like to use. I'll show you them. I'm gonna start off with this little Ned 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 rig. I think that's what you call it. I've never used these before. I just got a mystery tackle box. Pretty sure you just like cut off half a Senko or some of these. They're so small. I can get it for you. Um, I have a few Tuscan weights right here. I'm probably going to stop buying these like painted wood, I mean weights because every time I try to put my string through them, like for quite a few of them, it just doesn't go through. It's like something, the paint or something like builds up in the middle of them. I'm probably just going to buy the unpainted ones from now on. Here is a black and red shaky head. It's really cool. I also have another shaky head down here. Hope I don't hit myself here. I get it. This, this is probably my favorite shaky head out of the two. Right here. 
I don't have the screw on it. The screw came, came off and it's like in this little. I'll show you the tackle box. It's just in that little compartment right there. I just like having this one tackle box store all my um, hooks and stuff like that. Yeah. Got four on hook. Mostly use these for Texas rigs. That's about it. And some of these for stuff like lizards, sometimes worms, stuff like that. And, ooh, I like to show you. Here's a one of my for all my plastic swim baits. Really like to use these hooks. It's a weighted swim bait hook. That screw to screw it on there, and it works really well. Next thing I'm going to take you through is going to be my soft plastics. I'm, I could, you could call my, me a hoarder of soft plastics, honestly. I just really like collecting them and using them a lot. Probably, ultimately, one of my favorite soft plastic to use are the Zoom Super Fluke. They just, something about them, something about them bass, when they see them twitching through the water, looking injured, Something about them, they just cannot resist. You get tons of like this crazy bites on these. It's super cool. And probably my next favorite lure, if I can find one, is going to be there. It's going to be a Senko. I will throw a Senko on just about anything. And that's because they work on just about anything. They work on Texas rigs, they work on shaky heads. Like I said, I'm pretty sure you can like cut half of them off and put them on a Ned, Ned rig and stuff. They just work on just about everything and bass just to love them. Really recommend these. If you've never seen one, and <laughs> here they are. You're missing out if you've never seen one because these are just amazing soft plastics to use. I wish I could show you all my soft plastics, but I really have too many to show all you. I just grab a handful portion of them. I just really love using soft plastics. Right, zip this up real quick. Next thing I'm going to show you is my rods and reels to the right of me. For This is kind of my heavy duty bait, like crank baits, chowder baits and stuff. It is a Abu Garcia reel. Super nice on a Berkeley Bionics pole. Get back so you see it. I have a white chowder bait tied on right now. It's a really nice chatterbait. Does well with this rod and reel. Or the rod and reel does well fit. And I like to have at least two finesse poles. Here is, I honestly for my finesse poles, I really only have loose poles. I trust loose. There's a great company. Here is, a, it's like a combo. It's called the American Hero. You get this for probably like 105 bucks. It works really well. It's a speed spool lose their rods and reels. They're just like lightweight. Does perfect for finesse. And here is a kind of one of their tournament poles, speed sticks. It is a it's like all white. So lose this is this this one cost 150 Funny story, I went to Gander Mountain to get it, and kind of in the back of the store, they were for $99.99 when they were supposed to be for $150, so I just paid for $99.99 and got it $50 cheaper. They just let me have it. They didn't want to really argue. <laughs> this is really nice. Good finesse pull. And I like to just have really one open-faced reel, or spinning reel. But I like to use these for shaky heads and stuff of that sorts if I can get this off for you here's a shaky head I'm using currently got Senko tied on it like I said they work really well for shaky heads oh shoot looks like my eyes bent I never saw that that's not good okay that's fine all right whatever but this is a Abu spinning reel on a Shakespeare agility pole. It, I know it's Shakespeare. Most of you are probably laughing at me because I have a Shakespeare, Shakespeare pole, but it just works really well, and I don't really pay too much money for my spinning reels and, and spinning reel poles and stuff. It just does the job. Well, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Oki Bassin. I'll see you later.